Okay, this is one of my latest prototypes. It's based off my last prototype, um, except we built a cage for it. Uh, still needs a lot of work. Um, still got to build the shell and everything. Um, need my amp meter and a few other gauges and stuff to make this work better. But anyway, just to show you what I'm doing, it's a torch that I'm building, 110 volt torch plugs in your wall outlet and um, it's going to have a variable controller and um, you can go full power or variable um, got uh, three of these containers and they can handle the pressure um, I push it all the way to 50 psi will make approximately 8 liters a minute of HHO gas, um, about 4 to 5 liters a minute on a constant rate. Uh, what I want to do is design a cooling system um, so I can run it at 8 liters per minute constant. And I've got plenty of room in this one. give you an idea and it's not like I said it's not done yet we have to depressurize it to fill it and this is the way I feel it right now um, eventually what I want to do is um, I have a pump and a water container so it automatically fills off the flow system that way um, I can just have a jug of water and when it gets low, it'll automatically pump from the jug of water. And this is my circuit for the variable controller. And the rectifier. And um, this is the pressure switch. That turns it off if the pressure gets up to um, the pressure I have it set to. Uh, they are adjustable. And then this is my bubbler. And that's the outlet, um, quick connect outlet, and the torch just plugs right into that, no problem. Okay, we're going to go ahead and fire this thing up and give you an idea what it's, what its output looks like through the bubbler um, without any resistance. Nothing plugged in, it's just open. So I'm going to go ahead and uh, fire that up and you can hear that it's just taking off. Okay, now as soon as you close this off, it'll start building up pressure so the bubbles aren't as violent. And that is exactly why people think they're getting more production under a vacuum. The production's not anymore under vacuum. The bubbles are just bigger. So while that builds up pressure, I'm going to go ahead and set my camera down since I'm doing this by myself. I'm going to plug my torch in. Actually, I should set this down. We just press it right into there. Voila.